developing story. A 21-year-old mother shot four times. The latest death due to gun violence in Chicago. She's one of five shot just last night in the 11th district alone. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas joins us with the latest on the investigation. Roseanne. Police are blaming this death on gang warfare, but say they don't think that that young mother was the intended target. Tonight, they're vowing to try and get a handle on an uptick in crime in the area. 21-year-old Nakia Bailey, killed Wednesday night in a hail of gunfire, leaves a little girl behind. She was shot in the ribs, shoulder, and back, sprayed by bullets from a silver car driving down West Grenshaw in the Homan Square neighborhood. Four young men between 15 and 19 were also shot, most of them numerous times. They're expected to survive. It's basically narcotics-related and predominantly juvenile-driven. Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson attended a briefing at the 11th District where police are using what's called Hunch Lab technology, software that uses algorithms to predict where the next shooting may occur. I'm confident that, that uh, we will get a handle on this. There's been a surge in crime in the 11th District, blamed on three factions of one gang. We are saturating those areas. Uh, we have our narcotics people coming in. Some of our federal partners are coming in to help us uh, ensure that this uptick doesn't continue. Johnson said detectives recovered video at the scene Wednesday night and are interviewing several witnesses, but so far, no arrests. I spoke with Alderman Michael Scott. He says his 24th ward, which is here in the 11th district, has the largest open air drug market in the city. Tonight, he is welcoming the focus on fighting crime here in North Lawndale. Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Okay, Roseanne, thank you.